Welcome to episode 1849. Forrest Preston, 90-year-old, elderly care billionaire, does visit one of his elderly care or nursing homes in Tennessee. Episode is divided into two parts. Part one, the biography. Part two, the five lessons. The CEO of Life Care Centers of America is now personally named in a False Claims Act lawsuit by the federal government. Prosecutors have added a count of unjust enrichment against Cleveland billionaire Forrest Preston. The government claims he benefited from the alleged overbilling of Medicare at life care centers across the country. It claims life care frequently ignored the recommendations of its own therapists and unnecessarily delayed discharging patients. Now, prosecutors say they found information that shows Preston was aware of complaints about the issue. Life Care says it's... He was born in Massachusetts in 1933. His father was a pastor. He originally wanted to be a doctor. Instead, he was selling vacuum cleaner and later worked as an x-ray technician. In 1970... He founded Life Care Centers of America in Cleveland, Tennessee. His company, Life Care Centers of America, is a behemoth today with more than 200 centers in 28 states. It had revenue over $3 billion in 2022, a $145 million settlement with the federal government over overbilling the federal health care programs. The year was 2016. Now he is 90 years old, has a net worth of $1.2 billion. Two, the five lessons of Forrest Preston. And one, the business idea. Idea came when he was working with his brother on a company called Hospital Publications. He discovered by accident there was a need for better long-term care. Lesson two, he's very secretive. There's no videos and there's no interview. Reason probably because he already paid $145 million dollars of settlement to the government. And three, his net worth has plunged. In 2015, he was worth $2.1 billion, small. Founded by Forrest Preston, uh, and really it's a company that operates and manages nursing homes and assisted livings, mainly nursing homes across the nation. Mr. Preston started out with the vision of having maybe six nursing homes and um, he kind of overshot the mark because we have about 226 facilities, uh, skilled and long-term care facilities across 28 states now. In five, his wife died and he's 90 years old and he owns 100% of his company. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.